Hello friends, I'm Satoshi Nakamoto, the father of blockchain and the creator of Bitcoin. Today we're taking our first step into the world of cryptocurrencies. What is Bitcoin? You've probably heard the name, but what exactly is Bitcoin? Simply put, it's a digital currency that is controlled by the people without banks or governments. Before Bitcoin, we needed banks to send money and make transactions. But what was the problem? High fees, slow processing times, and complete dependence on a central authority. In 2008, the global financial crisis showed that traditional financial systems have flaws. It was the worst day on Wall Street since the crash of 1987. Essentially down by 4 5 percent. We're down over 16 percent. Dow at the same time has fallen about 18 percent. The stock market is now down 21 percent. Because we're now down 43 percent. Down 1.7 percent here, a loss of 37 points or so. Apple shares are just getting hammered this morning. We're down by between 3 and 4.5 and percent generally across these markets. That's when a revolutionary idea was born. A decentralized currency controlled only by the people. Bitcoin operates on blockchain, a digital ledger that records and verifies transactions. But there's a major difference from banks. No single entity has control over this network. This means you can send and receive money anywhere in the world without needing a bank, quickly, securely, and with low fees. Now that we understand what Bitcoin is, let's look at some of its key features. Decentralized. No banks are in charge here. The network is managed by everyone. Limited supply. There are only 21 million Bitcoins Meaning, unlike traditional money, no one can print more. Transparent and secure. All transactions are recorded on the blockchain, and no one can alter them. Since the first Bitcoin was mined in 2009, this cryptocurrency has shaken the world and made many people millionaires. But more important than making money, the technology behind Bitcoin, blockchain, is transforming the future of finance. Now you know what Bitcoin is and why it's so important. In the next videos, we'll talk more about mining, buying and selling, and investing in Bitcoin. So stay with me.